Here I am working through my 2007 final exam for physics, algebra, physics. Um, I'm on problem number five. I don't really have anything else to say, so I'm just going to get right to it. Okay. You are driving from Covington to Hammond. So these are two, if you're in Louisiana, this is common, okay, around here uh, for class, which we, is also common. We have commuter students. You are afraid you'll be late. So you drive 75 miles per hour instead of 70 miles per hour. If it is 25 miles between the two cities, how much time do you save by driving the faster speed? I like this question. Okay, so let's just start off right here. Let's call this A, B, and there's your car, and here's another car. So this one's going 70 miles per hour. This one's going 75 miles per hour. So miles per hour. And I want to find the time. So let's say average velocity is delta x over delta t. And yes, I'm in units of miles per hour and miles, but I think it's going to work out. We can just do miles and miles per hour, which I don't normally do. I try to always use metric units, but I'm trying to I'm trying to prove a point here. I'll let me turn off this camera because I'm I'm just talking from the side. Uh, I just got excited. Okay. Um, so the point is. Well, I'll show you in just a second. So I want to find the time. So if I solve this for time, I get delta t equals delta x, and this is one dimensional, over v average. So let's do it for the first case. Delta t1 is going to be delta x, which is 25 miles, divided by the average velocity of 70 miles per hour. And that's going to be equal to 25 over 70 hours. Delta T2 is going to be the same thing. It's going to be 25, oops, 5 miles over 75 miles per hour. And that's going to be equal to 25 over 75 hours. So this, let's convert that into uh, hours and minutes. So I'll switch over here to Python, my favorite. Okay, so let's say V1 equals 70, dx equals 25, dt1 is going to be equal to 25, oh, it's v1, v1. It's going to be equal to dx divided by v1. D, v2 equals 75, dt2 equals dx divided by v2. So let's just print dt1, dt2. And then this will be in units of hours. So I get 0.357 and 0.333 hours. So what's the difference? DDT is going to be DT1 minus DT2. Uh, and let's print that in minutes. So let's, play, let's print DDT. Now I need to convert it to minutes. So there are 60 minutes in one hour. Right, so that's just that. Zero. Ah. <laughs> so one, you say 1.42 minutes. Maybe we should convert that to seconds. 85 seconds. And, and I mean, it's a significant, right? Because you're going from 70 to 75, you think you're making a big difference, but you save a minute and a half. Big deal. Better just to go slower and save better gas. Okay, we'll do another problem on the next video.